Well, if you're like many, you might rely on Google or Facebook reviews to search for a nearby restaurant or find, let's say, a new doctor. But sometimes those reviews are, in fact, fake, coming from a black market industry bought and paid for to fool you. And it's happening more often than you might think. And when Fox 9 investigator Nathan O'Neill started asking some questions about one Minnesota dental office, the state did too, launching an investigation of its own. They are a guiding force online. Online reviews claim to help you navigate your life. From places to eat, to retail shops, to finding a new dentist. Fraudsters are professional liars. This is what they do. But there is a seedy and untrustworthy side to this online world. $2 and it's all designed to trick you. The scope of this problem is just shocking. Much worse than most people are aware of. Kay Dean is a former federal investigator turned industry watchdog. She's helped catch business owners across the country using shady practices, some paying for online fake reviews to boost their online profile. In Minnetonka, a local dental office called Dentistry by Design recently caught the attention of our watchdog. I saw that Dentistry by Design, as well as other businesses, we're receiving numerous fake Google reviews uh, from an organized network. She points to a flurry of five-star reviews. Many of them had vaguely written comments, but it's the data behind it that's truly revealing. With the help of our watchdog, the Fox 9 investigators analyzed 48 recent Google reviews for Dentistry by Design. We found 64% of the profiles that created those reviews had also reviewed a smoke and vape shop a half hour away. And that's not believable. Even more unbelievable, she points out six of the profiles also reviewed the same locksmith in Florida, and nine of them reviewed the same restaurant all the way in Australia. These are classic fake review patterns. Those suspicious reviews were removed the day after our watchdog called them out on her YouTube channel. And our repeated attempts to get an explanation from Dentistry by Design were repeatedly ignored. Now, there are rules against using fake online reviews when it comes to dental offices. And we should know, after the Fox 9 investigators started asking questions about Dentistry by Design, we've learned the State Board of Dentistry officially launched its own investigation into the matter. Nationwide, the proliferation of fake reviews has overwhelmed the online marketplace so much that the Federal Trade Commission is now considering a new rule that would crack down on businesses that pay for fake reviews, throwing hefty fines against offenders. What is with the danger there? You know, lies undermine fair markets. People can't make good consumer choices if they're having to rely on lies. Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison joined two dozen state attorneys general to support and provide input on the FTC's proposed rule. Fraudsters are professional liars. This is what they do. They get up in the morning and do it, and they lie all day. And they do it with these, these reviews. And they're not hard to find. In fact, there is a whole economy supporting the sale and purchase of fake online reviews, some even advertising five-star ratings. Hello, sir. We tracked down one fake reviewer who claimed to be based in the United Arab Emirates. That's more than 7,000 miles away. How many reviews can you do in a day? I can do 5,000 reviews in a day. 5,000. 5,000? Yeah. And they can be five-star reviews? Yes. I'll catch you at $3 reviews. We often don't know who they are. Uh, there's a whole economy in countries like Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, um, and that's a challenge for regulators to address. While the feds are on the brink of bringing more accountability to businesses that pay for fake reviews, the new rule does not go after big tech companies like Google, where those fake reviews get posted. The tech companies and review platforms themselves are not transparent about how bad the problem truly is. When we reached out to Google, the company would not comment on the record. Yet on its website, Google claims in 2022, it removed or blocked 115 million reviews for violating the company's policies in some form. I think with no accountability 
for third party review platforms, the fake review problem will not be solved. That means your last line of defense from fake reviews is likely yourself. So here's a couple red flags to be on the lookout for. A negative review followed by a string of five star reviews, a batch of reviews posted within a very short period of time, and non-specific comments that could apply to virtually anything. What would your message be to those bad actors out there? Remember the moral weight of what you're doing. It's wrong, it's unethical, and it's against the law. That was Nathan O'Neill reporting. Now, if you have concerns about fake reviews and a local business, you can actually report it to the state attorney general's office. They have a whole team dedicated to helping consumers, and we've posted the contact information on fox9.com. All right, this is a weird.